Hello, everyone! Welcome back to the stream. I hope everyone is doing good today. Um, we are going to be continuing on with my Baldur's Gate playthrough, of course, because I'm having so much fun, and I know a lot of you are having fun with it, too. So, really happy about that. But anyway, hi, everybody in chat. Thank you so much for waiting. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Um, we are just going to be exploring the rest of Remington because I know I haven't explored everything, but oh my god, this game is a lot considering I'm not even at Baldur's Gate yet. I have, wait, let me see how many hours I have. I have about 83 hours on Baldur's Gate right now and I haven't reached Baldur's Gate. So that's how massive this game is in case you are wondering. <laughs> but yeah, um... We're gonna continue on with this. It's been great so far. I'm really glad a lot of people have been joining the playthrough. Uh, like I said, I was worried not many people were gonna watch it anyway, so... <laughs> this has been nice. You live vicariously through this playthrough? Well, thank you. Someone- I don't know who it was, but someone left a comment on one of my last Baldur's Gate 3 videos and they were like, you're- I consider your- your character the canon tab of Baldur's Gate. I'm like, that's- that's such an honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm also happy that a lot of people are liking that I'm giving her more of like a backstory too. Like, as we get closer to Baldur's Gate, I'm like, I have to give her something because we're getting closer to her home. I have 120 hours in the same. See, it's like the same thing. I know some people who had like 90 hours and they were still in like act one, which is insanity. I know there's a lot more things I missed, but oh my God, it just shows like how much content is in this game. I think you can add like 40 more hours. Yeah, definitely. At least, at least 40 hours. My first playthrough took me 130 hours and I still had much left to do. See? And I, and I know that's going to be with me too. Can you- Yeah, you know, I didn't think about that. And thank you for reminding me. I completely forgot. Asterion doesn't know what he looks like. So aside from me being like hilarious and being like, Oh, let me get a statue of, of Asterion in like a Greek, Greek-like pose. I didn't think about it. He doesn't know what he looks like. I, I do wonder if he can interact with it. I'm gonna try him. But I, I honestly forgot. I'm like, yeah, he doesn't know what he looks like and I just got a statue of himself. You know? I have a 300 plus and with uh, 200 of it being in early access. <laughs> I only have 107 and I'm only in act two. See, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm actually excited about my Dark Urge playthrough too, because like, I've been thinking about it a lot, and I'm just like, damn, I'm really gonna go all in. I talked about this with my mods. By the way, this is not a confirmation, I haven't decided like what kind of story I'm gonna play just yet, but I thought about something. What if I did a Dark Urge playthrough, but like, I kill everybody? Like, everybody we meet, I just kill them. Do you think that will like, work out in the story if I just like, do that? They must have prepared for that, right? Like, they're like, somebody's gonna make a crazy character that just eliminates everybody. They have to have a storyline for that, right? <laughs> there must be. Uh, happy early and early birthday, Sia. I, I hope you have a great day tomorrow. And today. You know what? Why not just today, too? Yeah, like, what if that happens? You know what I mean? Like, what... Will the game say anything? Like, oh, you just eliminated everybody off the map. I am curious about it. Think about getting a statue of Asarian, being a bard, and painting it so he can see what his eyes and hair look like. Oh, yeah, I know. That'd be so cute. I think it could work. I couldn't bear it. See, I, I haven't... Also, I haven't decided. Am I gonna, like, attack my... Because some of the companions you can really, like you know, attack and kill. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do it. Cause I kind of want to keep everybody to see the reaction. But at the same time, I'm like, I am playing a Dark Urge character and I really want to go full evil on it. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm doing a Drow Wild Mage Dark Urge where I kill everything for uh, for my second playthrough. How's that going so far? Does the game tell any, like say anything about it? Like, oh God, you, you're murdering everybody. <laughs> I put 140 hours, two playthroughs, but I still haven't gotten to Baldur's Gate. That's the the beauty of Baldur's Gate 3. You never get there. Because <laughs> you're distracted by everything. 
Is that what? Okay, I, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, a lot of people are doing this for their dark urge. Just killing everybody. I, I kind of want to try it just to see, you know? I tried to do that, but I can't kill Karlak or Lazel. I love to. That's kind of like what I'm struggling about. I feel like I can do all the evil choices like in the game, but when it revolves around the companions, I'm going to struggle a lot because I love them a lot. Like all these characters, every single one of them. I love the entire party. It's just like when I start doing bad decisions, it's going to involve them. I'm going to struggle. I couldn't kill Halson and Asterion especially. Me either. And I've been thinking about like, oh, who's going to be my romance for Dark Urge? I'm very tempted to make it a Starion again. But I don't know. Because <laughs> I heard somebody was telling me a Starion's romance with the Dark Urge character is pretty good. And I'm like, you're tempting me that I may want to do it again. Do you know? I may want to do it again. We'll see though. The narrator is really into you killing people in Dark Urge. Oh shit, I love it. I love Amelia Tyler, by the way. Her voice acting as narrator or dungeon master is pretty good. So I imagine she's probably going to be enjoying this. Dark Urge makes some surprising changes to the story. That's all I will say. I imagine so. Especially when we get to Act 2 and 3 with like the whole thing with um, the Dead 3. I imagine the story will be a lot more interesting considering you're a ball spawn, right? So the companions make interactions so funny I couldn't bring myself to kill them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I kind of want to see the reaction to stuff. For me, I'm doing a good Dark Urge run because the, uh, in the future I'm going to do a full kill everybody Dark Urge run. That's a good point too. I imagine it would be really hard to do like a good one. You know? Happy early birthday to you too, Glam Rock Freddy. <laughs> You can resist killing your companions. I heard that. But again, I haven't decided. Am I just gonna go like straight up just do it or not? If you pick if you had to pick an origin character run, who would you pick? Ooh. Maybe I think I would pick Carlac. I don't know. I feel like I would pick her. Asterion and Dark are just so sweet. That's what I've heard. That's why I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try. Hi, Dame. How are you? Welcome to the stream. But I'm just, I'm, because I've seen, <laughs> I've seen so many like fan art and like low key. You guys know this. I, I, I'm not ashamed to say this. I've been reading a lot of fan fiction for Baldur's Gate. I've seen a lot of like pairings for like Asterion and Dark Urge. And I'm like, hmm, this kind of sounds interesting, you know? I, I, I kind of want to just see it how it plays out. But like I said, we'll get into that. I, I'm going to be live streaming my, my um, second playthrough, Dark Urge playthrough. So you guys can help me out when we're creating my character and stuff. You guys can help me. We'll decide together what we're going to do. <laughs> I, I just want to know like what, what exactly is going to go down. Because I know... Um, some of the choices you can really like even now like with some of the options that i have and you know, even though i'm playing as like a relatively good character some of them are kind of messed up i'm like wow you can say that <laughs> i don't know if i could do it but we'll see i'm gonna i have to fight the urge to like be good because it's like in my nature because i'm canadian and we can't like be mean so like for me it's like it's very difficult to like be an ass you know even though it's a video game i'm like i have to remind myself it's not real I can be an asshole in this game if I want to. <laughs> uh, I'm so hyped every time you play Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you! I'm glad there's a lot of people who are hyped for me playing this too. You know? I'm really happy about this. I killed everyone except for Minthara for my evil playthrough. I could bring back Minthara. That is true. I kind of forgot about that. I Okay, I have a question. Um... If I bring Minthara, Halston's not going to join the party, right? Is that how that works? Because I didn't know when I was when I first played this, I just killed her, right? I just killed her because I'm like, oh, they have the bear. And I'm like, let me free the bear. That's what I was trying to do. So that's why I, I attacked her. I, I didn't know if there was like any like way I could save both of them. Is that a possibility that you could have both Halston and Minthara in your party? Because I, I do wonder about that. Because I definitely think it, w it would be interesting to have both of them, like, for a dynamic, you know? I know it's a little bit different, but it's kind of like the same sense of, like, Lazelle and Shadowheart together. They were enemies first, and then now they're really good friends. Uh, 
It's either Halson or Minthara? Okay. It used to be that you could get both. Oh, really? So they took that out. Oh, really? They patched it out? Oh, damn it. That sucks. Damn, so I gotta- uh, yeah, I gotta pick between Big Daddy Druid or Dobby Mommy Trout! <laughs> Damn, I was hoping to have both of them! Oh man, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to let go of Halson, which kind of makes me sad. Oh, That makes me sad. You don't have to kill the Grove to get Nunthara, but you still can't get Halson if you don't. Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel- maybe I can like trigger some- I don't know, well, I, it's Dark Urge. I probably will kill the Grove. <laughs> but we'll, <laughs> we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens, I don't know. <laughs> that patch resulted in Hulsing dropping dead in camp for people? That's horrible, really? Oh god! No! Because you have both because of the bug. And they just kill him off? I'd be so sad. I think there's a mod you can have in Thara be more good align. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, it just, like I said, it works out if I'm doing Dark Urge. Just have her there, I guess. That makes me sad. That kind of explains why I couldn't bring back Minthara back to life. Because remember, I kept her body in camp and I was like, Hey, I could probably bring her back with like one of the spells that I have and it didn't work. So now it makes sense why it didn't work. Because um, I'm not supposed to have both of them. <laughs> he had a heart attack, I'm crying! <laughs> Bro just dropped dead, that's actually really sad. Oh my gosh, I, I could I could never deal with that. I don't know, like, in a sense, the, my, for my first playthrough, I would like to know more about Minthara, but I'm really glad that I have Halston because I actually really like him. He's a really sweet guy and he likes ducks, that's cute, you know? Him whittling ducks in the corner like he says he likes to like just carve wooden ducks i think that's adorable he's a really cute guy you know this took such a sad turn no it really did my man dropping dead at camp can you i like to imagine like you are in camp and everybody's just like you know hey it's time to turn in let's go to sleep um everybody wakes up and halson's dead that would be horrible <laughs> It's so horrible. Minthara is really cool. I bet she's like interesting because like I, I I know you guys were mentioning to me like the drow elves are kind of like the, the evil elves in like D&D &D lore. So I, I, I imagine her interactions with everybody is very different um, compared to like let's say like my character is just like a regular high elf. So I imagine it's different for her. What's your favorite team to use right now? In my two runs, I had Shadowheart, Lazel, Karlak is my best team. Oh, for me, it's always Astarian, Shadowheart, and Karlak. Th those are like my my main three all the time. I, I want to say Astarian because of Rowan's, but in reality, I like using him because he he's able to sneak around so much and then also like lockpick everything and I don't waste my lockpicks, you know? Just have them there. <laughs> it's just easier that way. That's the best part about it. Halston when he doesn't hit on tab for three seconds. I feel like that's Gale though. Isn't that Gale? Just hating on you for like every... For breathing. Literally. Halston's such a good romance. Dude, I, I, I'm tempted. I was tempted to... Okay, I know about this because somebody in the comments was asking me, Hey, are you going to romance um, Halston 2 along with Astarian? Because uh, Astarian is polyamorous. And same with um, Halston. He's also polyamorous. And... Um, I believe he, he just they, they just want consent, which which is really nice, good, great, great for that. I haven't really decided though if I'm gonna do it, because I kind of, in a sense, I kind of just want to stick to Osarian because I, I want to like mainly focus on his backstory, you know. But I can't lie and say that I am tempted with all this. <laughs> I love the elf pantheon lore in D and D. It's pretty interesting, and also I was like looking up. Um, some of the gods. I'm, I'm gonna talk about it more when I record more videos. Um, I have I have an idea of like what I want her to like, what kind of god I want her to worship and stuff. Cause um, yeah, I didn't know if you the way that people like worship gods in, in Faerun is like you need to 
you need to worship some kind of god before you go somewhere when you die. Which I find find interesting. Like it's like, th which is why I guess it, it makes sense. Like why so many, example like Shadowheart, why she's so adamant of like worshiping Shar and stuff like that. It makes a lot of sense. So I have an idea of like what I'm gonna do for my character. <laughs> Um, if I don't experience health in romance, I will not have lived. <laughs> uh, I managed to mess up Gale's romance in my first playthrough of Full Breeze. What did you do? Is Clem back using the- Yeah, unfortunately she is. She's got another- It's not really a cut. It's mainly because she's been licking her arm a lot. Because she's, she's just an anxious dog. And we're trying to figure out a way to like make her to stop. It's just really hard to do it because she's so obsessive like that's how she's always been like ever since I've gotten her when she was a puppy she's just like that um, so she's back to using the cone just for safety measures because I don't want her to like make it worse or anything she's not happy about it let me tell you that right now she freaking hates it but um, I'm I've I've ordered I don't know if these are gonna work but I've ordered like dog pants <laughs> It's pants to like cover her arms so she won't lick them, right? So I'm gonna, I'll take a picture of it when it gets here. I, but I've ordered Clementine some dog pants. So she's gonna wear some pants to cover her arms so she's not tempted to lick them. Um, I'm hoping that will help because like, we took her to the vet and the vet was like, it's just because she's anxious. Like li literally that's the main reason. And she also has skin allergies, but she took her, you know, she has allergy meds. I already gave, gave her some, uh, and and it's only during the summer she has allergies so like that's not the problem either it's just how she is so if anyone has any advice how to help an anxious dog from stop licking their paws and stuff let me know <laughs> that, that'd be help that'd be helping out a lot um the real question is if you will pick the bear true I haven't decided about- I would do it for meme purposes, but if it was just me personally, I feel like, Halson, please don't turn into a bear. Just stay like yourself. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> for meme purposes, though, sure, I'll do it, but in reality, no. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna romance a star in- uh, Halson, in addition to romancing a star for the first time in my current run. I would like to know how it is, but it's just like, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm sad there's no Jahira romance. I'm surprised that there isn't. Clementine is like me horribly. She's like me too. You know they say that like their their dogs call, like mirror their owners. It's very true because like I'm very anxious and I'm like, damn. You know it's funny. I got a dog because I thought, hey, maybe if I get a pet, I'll be less anxious. And then it turns out my pet is more anxious than me. <laughs> So, that's great. <laughs> um, I feel you, our dog needs a leg operation. We had a baby uh, grows already for her. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping that it doesn't come down to that. You know, funny story. My game, Lizelle, died. But when I when she re resurrected 20 hours later by a triggered cutscene and remained in camp for the rest of the game as a naked living corpse who tried to... <laughs> oh, God. How does that work? Maybe a greater calming scent and stuff like. Cl See, I wanna. Uh, right now we're we're testing out like calming chews and stuff because she likes treats and stuff like that. Um, because she's a very uh food centric dog. The problem is if I were to get her like a toy, Bear gets jealous. Like he has to. Ha he's so greedy with toys. Like it's really bad. He, cause with Clementine, Clementine will share her toys with Bear all the time. Like she'll give him her uh, her stuff without any question. She doesn't get mad if he takes it. But if Bear has a toy and Clementine wants it, like, if, if she really, really wants it, um, Bear gets mad. And, like, I try, I try to teach him, like, don't, you know, don't get mad if, um, if she takes his toys or whatever. But I don't know. Even if I get the same exact toy, like, this, I always get the same toy for both of them. He gets mad and he wants all of it. So, that's the only thing I, I don't know what I could do, like, if it's a toy thing... I would have to like somehow keep it away from bear but right now we're trying with like treats hopefully that will work it's only been like a couple of days so i don't know if it's like actually working for her but we're gonna try with that um i don't know i don't know what else to do like even if i we play with her like 
I give her like toy puzzles and stuff like that. It was just like she still does it anyway. You know what I mean? Like so I don't know. <coughs> like I'm really happy Bear isn't you know anxious cuz he's like the total opposite of Clementine. He's just he's just happy all the time. I've never seen him sad before. Even like if I scold him for like doing something bad, he's just happy. I feel like it's just like I th this is this may sound mean but like out of my dogs Clementine is the smartest one but I think that's why she's so anxious because she's she's very intelligent so she's like aware of her surroundings and everything and Bear's stupid so that's why he's so happy like I love my I love my other dog but he is very dumb <laughs> he's a very dumb dog um I'm playing for the second time and I still can't pick anyone but a star and I feel you. I feel you. That's what I'm worried about when I do my second play. I'm gonna see a star and I'm gonna be like, can romance you again? <laughs> uh, no, you hear romance makes sense because of the previous game. You'll find out more by doing her quest. I would like to get to know her more because I haven't used her in my party just yet. But I want to get to- because I didn't know when we first saw her, I'm like, oh, she's so cool, right? And Karlik was like, oh my god, she's like famous. And I didn't realize she was in the first two games. I had no idea. Now I get why she's so famous too. Because of uh, they had to deal with everything. Uh, protagonist of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 was a ball spawn, right? And they had to deal with um, a lot of shit. I, I looked into the backstory of the first two games. There's a lot of stuff that they had to go through. So it's uh, it makes sense why she's so famous in like in in game sense and why Carlock was like, oh my god, it's Jahira. <laughs> Which I think is cute. Bear's just happy to be for real. He is just happy to be here. Honestly, I've never seen a dog that happy. Like every picture I take, he's just so happy. He's because he's legitimately excited and very happy about everything. <laughs> uh, Dark Rage Jessica for a hypothetical next playthrough or a new character. I'm gonna be a doing a new character for Dark Rage. Uh, definitely a different character. I I haven't decided like for a fact like what kind of like race or class, but I'm leaning towards like either a Tiefling or a Drow those two i'm kind of leaning towards and low-key i kind of want to be a dark urge bard just for the the memes can you can you imagine just like a crazy ass bard running around <laughs> this dark urge i feel like that'd be kind of interesting to do <laughs> but we'll see hi wish bear is li living in ignorance's bliss life so he is though he is that's why, like, I can't, you know, like, when, when Clementine, like, if she gets in, does something bad and I, I tell her, like, no or whatever, or, like, you know, I, I hate when I do this, but when I call her, like, a bad dog, she gets sad and she's like, okay, I won't do it again, and then she kind of sits in the corner for a little bit, and then she'll come back later and be okay. If I tell Bear he's a bad dog, he just looks at me like, wow, I'm a dog? <laughs> I'm a dog? <laughs> that's, that's my dogs, everybody. <laughs> Uh, Drow would be so good. Drow Warlock would be awesome. See, a gnome would be an interesting one too. A gnome Dark Urge would be interesting. Disney villain Dark Urge for real, for real about that. But yeah, I have. Like I said, I haven't decided. We'll talk about it when I actually start um, the Dark Urge playthrough. You guys can help me like decide. But um. Yeah, I'm kind. I'm, I'm kind of de debating on that. That's kind of like what I'm deciding. I did Bard as sassy, evil, darker. That was so funny because I imagine like how stupid it may be, but like I want to see like what it would be like. All right, guys, we are going to start my playthrough. So let me give me a second to set everything up. Clementine, you're adopt. Uh, you're adopted. Starts playing the sad music. Bear, you're adopted. Can can we play or what? <laughs> I love the idea of a tiny gnome dark urge. I think it would be funny. For jokes. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see about it later. That's what I've been just thinking so far. So far, and then possibly romancing Asterion again, just for the sake of... Because everyone says dark urge and Asterion kind of like fit together. But I haven't like fully committed yet. Okay, guys? Still deciding. Okay. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to get some more water, and then I'm going to set up the game, too, so we can start.
Alright. Okay, is anyone else the same as me? I, I hate wearing... I'm wearing earbuds mainly because my, my headset won't fit over my flower crown. But like, I hate using earbuds because they always fall out of my damn ears. How do I make it so they don't fall out of my ears? <laughs> Does anyone know? So I don't use earbuds that often. I just use like over the over the ear headsets. It's a lot easier to deal with. To be honest, Asterion is one of the most fulfilling romances. Yeah, I feel like he is. That's why I picked him. I knew it when I saw him. Like this dude's a tragic character, and he's got he's got the all the check marks of like me liking those certain kinds of characters. I love tragic characters so much. It's a problem. <laughs> Okay, let me stop the music for a second, and then turn on the game. There we go. Okay. Um, how's the volume, guys? Is it okay? You might need to turn up a little bit. Hang on. Maybe look for athletic earbuds with hook. Maybe I have to do that, right? Yeah, when I wear wired earbuds, I keep accidentally ripping them out. Yeah, it's annoying. I think there's specific ones for different ears. I, I probably have to look for that. Are Raycons actually good? I know there's like a meme because like everybody gets sponsored by them. Hey, Raycon, would you like to sponsor me? <laughs> would you like to sponsor me? No, but for real, is it? are they actually good? Cause like, uh, it's annoying! That's why I keep like touching my ear cause I'm like, it's falling out of my head! <laughs> Volume is good? Okay. I don't know what to do. I might have to just like get a different flower crown that doesn't like take over the top of my head and then just do that. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know, I might consider Raycon. You know, might as well. <laughs> a girl in a gate. Thank you so much for the. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh right. Okay. So, um, off camera, I was trying to organize my entire party because everybody has a lot of shit in their pockets. So far, we are clear. Everything is organized. Everything is good. Um. I don't know why Halson is standing here. I, t I took him out of the party and j he's just standing here now. I, I don't know why. So, I might bring Carlock around now. Gail? Already feeling better. Gail, get the F out of my, my party for now. What's on your mind? You leaving. Oh no! <laughs> How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but I'm to so stick be around. it. I'll be here in the meantime. We'll, co we'll come back to that later. The hours. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Iris. I like I like her new look, and then I dyed her clothes. She looks great. Hi, Chris. What's on your mind? God damn it. Um. Fuck yes. I have a question, guys, because I I do like turn off their helmets. Like I turn it off like completely. But like every time I take these guys out of my party, it resets. Is there a way to stop that? Is like, is it in the setting or something? Speaking of settings, I need to turn off the nudity just in case. I'm gonna sh shut that all off. We don't need an accidental penis on stream. Um, what's on your mind? You're leaving. All <laughs> oh, right, can a Saren in interact with a statue? Quick stand. Babe, can you not like look at it? Saren the sensuous. That's not what I meant when I said, look at your <laughs> I said, look at your statue, and bro went all the way up here. Oh my god. I've got a long road ahead. Oh god. Unequip the- Th That's not what I mean either! <laughs> I need the helmet on! <laughs> We need the helmet on too, guys. <laughs> I'm 
the he definitely he definitely would be like, mm, that's not me. <laughs> he just wanted a closer look. Okay, so also another thing I want to ask because I was looking on the Boulder's Gate forums and I couldn't really find anyone uh, uh, if they knew a solution to this. So there's a dead badger over here. Don't know why there's a dead badger. There's also like a mysterious hole which you can click and look at. But there's like no way for me to get in there. Like I tried jumping, I tried flying, teleporting does not work either. Um, so I don't know what to do. But there's stuff in here, like there's a badger, that hole down there. If you look over here, there's like more stuff in the back. Like you can see everything in the back over there. You know, like look at that. There's some stuff in here. And I'm like, I would like to see what's going on, but I can't get in here. So I just wanted to know if anyone else knew about it. Yeah, I wish there was some reaction to it. I, Cause I imagine I didn't think about it when I got the statue of a siren. I just wanted like a hot Greek statue of my man. That's why I got it. But then I re then you guys were like, he's never seen himself. Like that's what he looks like, you know. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, okay. So I want to continue with this. I didn't get a chance to talk to them, but that dick. From from earlier, who was trying to kick out that like poor refugee family out of the house, he set up a trap donation to the refugees. So I wonder if I can tell, warn these people about it. You know. I have something to ask. Got something else to donate, have ya? Um. I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. This should work. I'm gonna let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. I'm not lying. I'm being serious. This asshole hates the refugees. Unless he lied. I don't know. Here? Is everything alright, Manip Nestor? Sir? There's been a report of dangerous contraband in the donations. We're going to check it out. Why? All these goods have already been checked in. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Fall in and do your job. Yeah, bitch. All right. What act is this? Act three. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Looks empty. They don't mind if I take apples, right? Ooh, these are some nice boots. Pointed sh I'm gonna take these just for me at camp. Sorry. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary right now. Open up. Oh, I didn't mean to kidnap that. I kidnapped that steal. <laughs> I meant to say steal. I don't know why I said that. Explosives. Now give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. <laughs> okay. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. Oh, I know who it is. It's okay. I know who it is. I know exactly who oh, it is. This assignment was going to be dull. Oh. <laughs> no such luck. Donations chest. Cut That's the donation. Yeah, I definitely found it, guys. Don't point. worry. I definitely. <laughs> found it oh man i love the music box by the way it's one of my favorites listen i i made this guy's job easier maybe i need more pockets okay let me take this apple too can you take this apple wait can i not get it can i not get it all right True, at least nobody died, just, you know, me losing, um, my eyebrow hairs, but all, all in all, it's okay. <laughs> mm, that for 
camp supplies. I think that's all we can do. Listen, if nobody's gonna tell me no, I'm just not gonna do it. I need to replenish my my camp supplies too, right? Why am I climbing the boxes like this? Take all this. Oh! I wasn't expecting it. But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. I'm glad you're here too. The music is really good in this game, honestly. It's so, ooh, hello there. We got some new outfits that I could get. I do want to try that. We also got, I have that one, I think. Yeah, we're going to try the red one and see how that looks on my character. I think we're good though. At least so far. So wait, is there an update to that? Where is that at? Baldur Skate. Investigate the sisters just so we found donated toys mentioned in the blackmail against Arthur. He put explosives inside them. We should see what he has to say for that. Where did he go? Did he say he was going to the inn or the bar or something like that? Didn't he say he was gonna go get a drink? I think that's what he said, right? I think that's what he said. I legit can't remember. Ooh, fancy. <gasps> That's so fancy. I'm taking all of this. I need, sorry, I need outfit. <laughs> Any chance I get an outfit, I will do it. It isn't a hard one either. Let me if see. You can't even guard a blast of shit. Arfur, 21 stuffed toy bears, unusually weighty. So you're telling me you had record of this guy donating explosives as toys, and you wrote down unusually weighty, but you didn't think to check that? You guys are doing a terrible job. No wonder I, it's a good thing I was here. What the hell? I assume the members of the uh, fa Flaming Fist were assigned to Rivington to maintain law and order among the refugees. But what do I see? Ragged refugees, big as life, and twice the odorous, ew, walking in Rivington streets as if they own the place instead of keeping decently out of sight in that refugee camp. I warn you, my great aunt knows Blaze Liara P Porter personally, and if those refugees aren't rounded up and kept where they belong, the Blaze will hear about it. My aunt works at Nintendo is what that reads. Bare minimum. Jo I know, right? I love when games have fashion options. Me too. I'm glad that there's an option like that. Okay. Let's see who else I can talk to before I, I keep keep on. <gasps> A dog! A dog! Biscotti! Oh my god! <laughs> The dog's name is dog Biscotti! Sniffing you intently. The dog's name is Biscotti! Um... I, I need a- oh damn, I should've used my animal speaking potion. Biscotti, no! Okay, wait. Ah, uh, did I leave it at camp? Oh no, I have it. Look, I know you're not gonna say it, so you might as well be on your way. You're a good dog, Biscotti. Wait. I'm a. Oh goodness! You said it. Wondrous day. I am a good dog. You can come back. 
I like you. <laughs> That's what I imagine my dog to be like, Bear. Every time I call him a good boy, he's so excited. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here he comes. Good dog. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Perfect. No notes. Wait, how many times can I call you that? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so cute. Oh my no, god, I'm, I'm afraid dying. I must insist you do not pet the hound. Oh, wait, why? My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I no. will not apologize. For your your, your dog likes it. Um If a simple petting startles a dog, I can only imagine how stressful this camp is. Whatever the dog thinks, being here is much better than being out there. Right, my dear? Well, the children can be a touch crabby, but yes. You're quite right, my dog. Just tell people to not touch your dog. There is no place for a precious little baby like Biscotti after all. Scotty, that's such a cute name for a dog. Oh my god. I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. No, I get what it. Is that my day? Nothing, darling. Listen, I, I have two dogs and I totally get it. I'm like that with mine as well. Um, Talk to these people, I guess. Now, now, my Heads will roll for this. This, this transgression. This what? injustice. What are you talking about? Um, what happened to you? Oh, you poor naive soul. Let me tell you a story. A perfectly okay. respectable businessman wants to bring his, well, business into this fine city. And what do they do? Let him continue ranting. They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slum. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by now, not waddling about in filth. Well, I don't know what you want me to do, sir. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if... We hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut. Nah. What? Don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is. But we have to. Who's Grunch? Oh, you're Grunch. Ah! Oh, whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Can I help Grunch? Let me have a look at that wound. <laughs> there we go. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Oh. Really, this isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Oh. Um... This is barely a scratch. What's the idea? Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. <gasps> oh! And I like those lads. Just tell them you want to stick around. So I think around. I'll stick around a while more. Dude, that's so sad. He doesn't want to oh, leave. Can I just tell them? I don't know. Oh, I can't say anything? When Nilos and Damn, I can't say anything. Bro, tell him you want to hang out more. You know who's really respectful. Actually, got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? Alright. God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting, like. Yeah, you could do that. My son Garen is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. 
Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? Because that's his wife, man. I hate when people do that. Like, I'm really lucky I have a really nice mother-in-law, so she's not like that to me. But, like, you know how people, like, like in-law families, like, get involved? Like, it, I get it that's your kid, but they're a grown adult and they have their own life. Like, you can't, you can't butt in like that anymore. Can't stand her, can't stand her, can't stand her! My sister-in-law. All law, and no sister. Jesus Christ. Well, drink to their memory. Washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I... Oi! Could I blood not get any bleeding privacy around here? Sir, you're Bunch doing it in public! Of you. <laughs> Dude, you're doing it in front of everybody! What do you mean? Okay, I already talked to them. I th <gasps> the kids! I'm really worried about Umi. What happened? They got me signed up to learn to make pots, which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. And I bet you'd back me up on that. Um, kid, I love your enthusiasm, but no. I've done the right things. Don't okay. So I talked to everybody here, right? All right, let's let's go this way. I'm just I'm just making sure I'm I'm talking to everybody in Rivington before before we continue on. <laughs> yeah, he made firm eye contact. It's true. He's the one who was looking at me. So, that's not my fault. Okay, let's go over here. Can't talk to these people. Is there anything weird in this corner? I hope not. I like those kids. I, I really do love those kids. Nothing. Alright. I, I, can I talk to you? No. Let's follow the blood splatter that's going all over the floor. It's kind of creeping me out. Where's this blood going? A few days in a jail cell. What the hell? Can't talk just now, sorry. Oh, okay. Let me have a little peace and quiet, won't you? Damn, alright. Let's see where the blood goes. Can I that might be worth a look. Ooh, okay. Let's see what's in here. I'm trying to see if I can find a lot of stuff around, you know? Ooh, money! Hope that wasn't anyone's secret stash that they need for an emergency purposes. Can we open this? Starion. Can you lockpick this? What the? What is that? Is someone screaming? Hello? Still breathing, despite everything. Hello? You guys heard that, right? At the ready. Who the hell was screaming just now? What's in here? Oh. Oh! <gasps> what? Why is there a mind flayer down here? Hold up! What's going on? What the hell? Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Uh, it doesn't feel fortunate. Wake the newborn. It doesn't feel fortunate! Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak. Vulnerable. Its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on. Kill it. 
Henry, don't tell me to kill Just it. Just like you did before. That was out of, that was a different time. That was a different time. I didn't kill out of necessity. Hang on. Um, I, I'm curious. What happens if I wake them up? Fuck you, Henry. Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. Uh... Oh, wait. Was it you I heard screaming when I entered the windmill? My vessel. He fought the transformation. He found it excoriating. I can still taste his terror. It is delicious, but will not sustain me. Wasn't Henry the one preaching that mind flayers have feelings? Yeah, I know he's lying. He's full of shit. <laughs> and frantic. To restore our strength. But he definitely was preaching that. Um... No, no, I don't want him to have to go find his own meal. Um, should I bring this guy food? Oh, gosh. I don't want to say go out there and find your own food because this man's going to straight up murder somebody. But, like, if I bring him actual food, it's like... I don't want to bring him a dead guy. Oh, brother. I'm not going to bring you food. Very well, kin. I shall dine on you. Well, I should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. All right, we'll just kill the Mind Flayer, I guess. Hmm. Let's see what I can do. Uh... Oh shit, sorry, my bad. I hit my own character. Enough movements. Outmaneuver them. This is gonna feel good. Hello, Carla? What? Okay, bow and arrow it is. Can I bring him? Oh, <gasps> I could have brought. I don't know about that though, because he, he's not. He's not here. The dude who tried to attack the refugees. Ooh, I don't know. It's okay. Can I not do it? Oh my god, everybody's in the fucking way. Time to push my luck again. Ah. Damn. Absorb its potential if you consume it. Oh yeah, his brain is just straight up hanging out here. Ring of truthfulness. I'm gonna take that. Windmill key. Sure, a candle. Absolute orders, newborn. The hell's this? True soul Aelin, your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful. Oh, so he was he a part of this? And you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the Flaming Fist no longer. You have been loyal, you have been a loyal true soul, but soon you'll be so much more. You'll be one of us. Should I take, I'm not bringing this, fuck you, Henry, you're trying to convince me to do Don't it. To press ahead. What's in here? I'm not doing it. You can kiss my ass. Glad I followed the blood. I 
think there's like really anything in here. Is there? Oh! Yes. There's a stuffed owl toy. Wait, is this, is this new? Alright, we can get out of here. Better not be cursed. No, I think they wanted me to find a corpse because they gave me that option. But still. Um, anyway, um, there was something I wanted to look at. I can't remember what it was. Let's go down here. So, he was probably the one killing all the chickens, no? Was that him? I don't know. I want to- I also want to look down here, which I'll- I'll look a li little bit later, but... I do want to look over here. What is this door? So- Sword Coast Couriers. Hello? Ah! A new face! Something to send? Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers! To send and to serve! Delivery not guaranteed. <laughs> uh, wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics. That is down, fair. That is fairly. Hey, at least they're I'll honest about their business, right? Me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Oh, my insight failed. Damn it. Um, any ideas where the birds went missing? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them. I can tell you that much. Okay, maybe we can look into it. <laughs> I could find the pigeons for you. My fees are very reasonable. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble, Listen, if we get paid, be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me, unopened, of course, and there's some gold in it for you. What if they're open? You're not going to pay me? All right. This good. Mailbox, employee pay. Let me read. Nothing out of the ordinary complaints. Um. <gasps> this one, the iron flask. I stole that. Oops. <laughs> I freaking stole that. That's funny. What's in here? Nice. Can we like... There we go. I'm just gonna close that. Let me see what we can get in here. Nobody's in here, right? That I can just start stealing stuff? Listen, you might have something good, so I gotta look at it. Just regular water. Everyone subscribes <gasps> to what is mine is yours. It oh, seems. um, whoops. When did that person just appear? Is there a sermon? Someone out here? What? Oh, maybe they're upstairs. Maybe they saw me up there. Uh, no, no, go upstairs. Go upstairs. There we go. Oh, there is somebody out here. Sorry. Pigeons are very sensitive, they can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Um, all right. Watch Foundry. Guess. See if there's something interesting here. Nothing out of the ordinary that I can see. These are the pigeons. Oh, I can talk to them. Name and rank. Quickly now. There's a war on. Um, 
Uh, Lieutenant Jessica reporting for duty. At ease! At ease! I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial community. Wait, are you guys going missing because you're fighting the Absolute? Is that what's going on? State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't care about <laughs> Groundwalker. Um, I heard some of your officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Oh, damned awful business. Fine flyers, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. I love the animal speaking potion. It's so cool. If you that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. That's interesting. Okay, what about you, pigeons? <laughs> A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. I've no need of a wing, man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. <laughs> That's cute. I like that we can talk to them. That's funny. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. Um, okay. Can we talk to these people? Let's go in here. Is Gail with you? No, Gail's not with me at the moment. When will Dogs! I get to uh, uh, what? It, sit, stay, heal. Ah, you speak, which means you're not a dog. So, what the hell are you doing in my kennels? <laughs> Damn, girl! Oh, Scratch? Oh, Scratch! I just remembered. Remember his master, his friend, is a courier. Oh! I don't want to give up Scratch, though. Is that just me? <laughs> He's kind of like my dog now, right? I didn't- I honestly forgot his- he was- he was delivering mail. Yeah, actually, can I- I, I saved it. I just want to see what they say about Scratch. Um, I think I found one of your dogs, Scratch? Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please, I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. Okay, okay, I, I just want to see- I just want to see what she's gonna say. If she does something bad, I'll reload, okay? Oh. Scratch! <gasps> he looks scared! <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. <gasps> Are you gonna hit him? property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Oh, hell no, you're not- oh, No, he looks so scared! What the fuck? I thought Scratch belonged to Gomwick. Gomwick was his handler, not his owner. You shouldn't raise your hand like that at him. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. Girl, I'll fight you. Are you kidding me right now? I kind of want to- Oh my god, I want to do an imitation- an Intimidation roll, but my imitation sucks! I'll do a persuasion, because I'm better at that. He's forgotten all his training. He'll be terrible influence on the rest of your hounds. Stay away from him! He's my dog! I'm not surprised. Gonwick always indulged him. And he's got a spark in his eye I don't like. Looks lively. 
Take the useless mutt if you're so inclined. I'll have nothing more to do with him. Yeah, you're right. Give me the other dog, too. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. <gasps> Shut your mouth, Dringo. Oh, Last interesting. Warning. Last warning or what? I heard Lord Gortash of Hor's animal abuse. Perhaps I should report you to him. <gasps> no, 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 no. We're redoing that. I'm saving the other dog that's in there. Hell no. Guidance, guidance. Give me guidance. Nobody hurts animals. I will fight you. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. Fuck you! You... You got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I feel I like promise. you would. You were so excited to see Scratch. Dog! Thank you for making Mistress go away. She was horrid. Can I talk to this dog? Wait, can you let him out, sir? Mistress is gone. Mistress is gone. I, I mean, um, such terrible news. She will be missed. Don't don't feel sad for that stupid idiot. Oh, I wish we could keep them. Poor puppies. If I see that lady again, it's over for her. All right, I'm glad we saved the dogs though. Okay, let's go in here, because I haven't gone in here yet. So the amulet that um, Astarian is holding is is a monk that we're supposed to return him to his daughter. That she's supposed to be in this temple, so I don't know. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Oh. Murdered. What? What ha- <laughs> People die every day, that's messed up. <laughs> what happened? I... I don't want to talk. W why? My heart is in mourning. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was gonna see if I could help, but alright. Details, details. What the F is that thing? Hello? Look, Investigator, Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Dumbo? Sister Yanis. <laughs> Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill nature. Um, that's okay. <laughs> Don't apologize. Sounded like a load of bollocks anyway. I wouldn't go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just Sir died Dumbo. on temple grounds. <laughs> Our high priest, Father Lorcan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the okay. politically convenient target. Why not? We're here anyway, right? Uh, if you think the investigator did a shoddy job, I can look into the murder for you. Feel free to look around the town. I like how Carla like approves of all of this. Warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant. Well, listen, we'll evidence. find something. We're good at this. Um, any idea of what I should be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Okay. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really? Okay, the last video I did, I found a well and there was a bunch of dead refugees down there. That's probably related to this. Um, 
Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Oh, all right. Um, can you tell me where to find Shira Corral? Car Car Carlo? Carlwen? Carlwen, right? <laughs> I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, mind. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Okay, well, that kind of helps. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Alright, guys, we're an inspector now. All right, so let's see what we can find out around here. All right, so this is a mass book, got you. What's in here? Hello? Oh. Oh, that's him, that's the guy, okay. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. Damn. Um. I'm looking into Logan's death. I need you to answer some questions. What do you want to know? Um, who do you think killed Father Logan? I reckon Investigator Valeria is right. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. I don't think so. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. Hmm. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Wait, I'm not done answering or uh, asking questions. Hello? Please, leave me be. All right. Well, I can investigate the dude. Please. A key. That could be leading to somewhere. We'll see. Okay. What's this? Manuscript. All right. Okay. What's in here? Is this game hard? Well, I think it depends on like, how you perceive it, but I personally don't think it's hard because I, I'm used to turn-based games. Infirmary. Justice endures even in suffering. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. I have a question. What is- the open hand temple, what religion are they? Can anyone explain that to me? What is going on down there? Hello? There's a fire. Um, Iron Gate. This is leading back to the circus. Oh, have Gail with us? Okay, I'll, I'll bring him. I do need to bring him along more. I feel really bad because I neglect the guy. I do need to bring him around more. going on in here? Did I open- This is going back to the main part, right? Oh, no. Hello. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Ill matter? God of sacrifice? What do they do? Is it like an evil god or is it more like a, like a sympathetic kind of thing? Um... I'm investigating Logan's murder. What do you know? I know it's not fair. This was the best job I ever had. <gasps> oh shit, I forgot I can't you speak with the dead. You're totally right. Hang on. We'll go back. <laughs> I always forget I have that. Um Where are the bodies? We toss Brilgore out back. Sister Rose has Logan in the infirmary. Preparing him for a decent burial. You could pop your head in and pay your respects. Ooh, there's a lot of blood there. Do you guys see that? Okay, we'll come back here in a second. Let me use my, um, speak with the dead. I always forget about it, man. 
every single time and i and i got that on purpose too so i could talk to them all right um Good God, like charity and devotion. The okay, gotcha. You lifelessly. Um, who killed you? Dwarf, dressed in red. What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgor from fists. Brilgor. Why were you hiding Brilgor? Must protect. Innocence. It'll make us will. Aww. Uh. Um, where did you hide him? Took him to the tunnel with the rest. Oh, fool. Fool. <laughs> with the rest? Where were you? Where were you attacked? Tunnel from the cellar. So that's what that blood Refuge. is. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Interesting. Okay, let's go. It's so handy to have this thing. <laughs> Before I go down there though, what is in here? There's also like another section down there too. Is this just like leading outside? Okay. That's just leading outside. What about down here? Oh! Wait. Free for the taking. Why aren't we allowed oh back here? This is probably where they're going to bury him. Let's see what this does. Mikkel Hornkiss gave all to the lepers, fell to the malady himself. He is a beacon to us all. All right, Asterion. <laughs> Watch your back. Wait, let me quick save just in case. Just in case someone sees me. How oh, for a skeleton key. Nice. Is it wrong, guys, that I'm stealing from a church? Or a temple? <laughs> Technically, I'm not stealing from the temple. I'm stealing from the people that are in the temple. Right? Does that work? It's like a loophole, right? Does that does that count? Damn it. Just incense. Wait, investigation failed. What do you mean by that? What? Is that blood? No. Oh no. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, thanks, babe. I I meant to click the chest though. <laughs> Why did? What was that? Investigation failed for what? No. I don't know. Easy. Yeah, that statue was expensive. I gotta pay off my debt. <laughs> I gotta pay off my debt, right? If a siren steals from the church, it's all good then. <laughs> He's excused. 
Ooh, fancy. Okay, we'll take a look at that later. Anything else you can steal, babe? A quick rummage. Yeah, doesn't he look good in that crown? I figured I'd put it on his head. He looks good in that. Let's see what else? Easy furniture, D. Do it yourself. Ew. Can we build that? That'd be nice. We'll tend to garden. Subtle steps. Meditation. What about in here? <gasps> and all that. Okay. I think that's all we can do, right? Right? I think so. Hi, Anya! Welcome to the These stream! These things interesting. Best be on my way. Let's go. Okay, let's go into that hatch and find out what the hell's going on. Let's see. Because I'm seeing blood and that's not a good sign. Oh, I don't like this. This is getting weird. It's like creepy because it's like in, in, in the cellars. You know what I'm saying? And it's dark and there's just so much blood everywhere and I don't like that. Wait, what? What? Did I click something by accident? I think I did. God, you scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh god, something's happening. Okay, so far I don't see anything. I'm just rummaging in the food though because like I gotta replenish the camp supplies, so... <laughs> we gotta- we gotta get what we can, you know? Nope. No. Why is there just like a hat down here? That's kind of weird. Nope. Nope. Guys, we need food. Sorry. Okay. So, like, this is not a good sign, right? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Here we go. Hello? Okay. That's a lot of blood. What the fuck? What happened? It's not a trap, is it? I'm kind of worried that it is. That did not give me more light. I thought that would give me more light. Okay, um... Rights for passing. Okay. Perhaps the hardest suffering ails the dog. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. No clue for that. You guys didn't do anything weird, did you? Please tell me you guys didn't do anything weird. Plea- wait, what? A hastily scald and slightly damp plea of rest requesting to be freed of ill matters service for the duration of ten day as the writer mourns Father Lorgan. What? Sheet music. Ode to the oppressed. Okay. Oh my god. What's in here though? Wait, what 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 hand? Did I miss the hand? There's a hand? Where? Quarter staff. Did I miss a hand? What's in here? Is it just scrolls? I think so. I'm gonna just take this. Be cautious. Holy oh, holy roller. Look at that. Would be saint. So far, nothing else is weird, I don't think. Minus two. Two. Okay, sorry. You've got a lot of this. 
Oh, I was. I can. I'll do alt. Hang on, hang on. I'll do alt. Oh, see invisibility. Why? Step lightly. They did say his hand was cut off, right? They did say that. Hand drum, hand drum. I don't think there's like an actual hand here yet. All's well that ends. I don't think so. Bad as okay, let's have. go in this door. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen when I open it. Hello? Oh no. Oh, I don't like this. Why are they just- there's just a bunch of sarcophaguses in here. Ooh, I'm not gonna like this. I'm quick saving. <laughs> a crypt. Oh. This must be where Shira Klawin is buried. Wait, what is this for? Oh, the amulet! Right, I forgot about that too. Okay, hang on. Why did I just do that? Sorry. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Raloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486 <laughs> Anyone DR. home, please don't reply. <laughs> Here lies Sister Shira Clark. Oh, that's her. Date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. Here it is. The tomb of the Here lies Flinster Rampart. Sunseeker. Time for a born 1400 DR. Died 1456 DR. So what am I supposed to do? Just open it? Oh god! <laughs> Shut up. Darling Shira, faithful to the crying god. Long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Gone, thou might be, alas. <laughs> so, like, what do you want me to do? Just put you in here? Did we do it? Oh! <laughs> Honored Shira! Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did. I didn't think he was Armenia asking like and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Is that why you wanted us to bring you here? The Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be thou? What? Wait, ponder what you know the monk's affliction. What are the consequences of accepting it? What the hell? The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill. But earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Oh, of wisdom? Girl, I don't have any left. Um, gods, no, I don't want to inherit your curse. <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Because I don't want his curse, so this guy just attacks me. Hi, Michael. Welcome to the stream. What a dick. Oh my god. Gods, it's hot in here. Girl, for real. Um. Nice. 
we shove you? God. Oh man, I knew something bad was gonna happen. Oh, asshole. So he can take any body he wants. I can see I see what he's doing. Okay. Let me get rid of this one then. Cut him up. Um Nice. Well, so much for peace. For real though. Tormentor. Let's finish this. What would inflicting wounds work on this guy? I actually don't know. Um, the curse of, like, us, like, gaining, you know, like, the, the, the laughter ability. We would be laughing like crazy every time, but we lose wisdom. Like, I don't want to do that because my character already has low wisdom to begin with. <laughs> Take that, bitch. Okay, um... I can't really cleave you down there, no. Just do a regular attack, it's okay. How do I go from here? Hmm. I had to try. It had to end like this. A torturous fate by any measure. No, fuck that guy. Do try to jump us. Absolutely not. I don't care. Like, what do you think was gonna happen? You know? Jesus. Anyway. This was not part of the the the, the father, is it? Like the guy who's uh, missing at the moment. Find the crime scene. I wonder. Hang on. Oh, there's more, more blood here. Is there a way to like open this? Cause it looks like there's a, there's a. Well, that's curious. Something good here, I hope. That's curious. Yeah, <gasps> there is. What happened? I pressed it. Hello? What? Maybe on the other side? Something I oh, I think I know what it is. Do we have to like press it at the same time or something like that? Hmm. What do we have here? Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Very well. 
Yeah, this is the well. This is what I found earlier in the well, right? Okay, this is not gonna be good, is it? That's a lot of blood. That's really a lot of blood. Anything of use? Shabby here wooden door. What's in here? <coughs> hey, William. How are you? Okay. Hang on. Looks like there's a place I can jump over there, which I'll get to in a second. What the fuck? There's someone talking here. Who the hell are these people? Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. There are people in here. These are are these are the people they were talking about? The the one that the father was talking about? They got attacked? Is it from them? Never get the fun job, son. Please be quick. Please be quick. They didn't see me, though. They saw Starion only. Okay. Wait, can we not talk to these people? Do we have to fight them? <gasps> oh my god, no! Oh, shit. Okay, well, you know. Can I do this? Am I allowed to do this? Because technically no, nah, because I'm not I'm not sneaking. <laughs> A better position. Hmm. Ready. Can you can you Oh, are you in battle? Who's not in battle? Oh, they're all in battle. I don't think it matters. Okay. Oh, shit. This is not good. Oh, no! Oh, no. How far can you, can you go in here? Wait, can you? Oh, sorry. Can you not? Because the stairs in the way. God damn it! What about over here? Tactical. Not enough. Damn it. Okay. Uh oh, I'm stuck. I can't leave either. Shit. Hmm. Can I? Oh, I don't want to waste it on these freaking guys, but I do wonder. No, I can't throw it either. No! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> that worked! Don't waste a step. Let's end this. Okay. On I go. Can I jump over a Starion? Nope, I can't. Magic missile, why not? <laughs> why not? 
Okay, sorry, and my love, you gotta move out of the way. Time to move. Can I attack you? Can I attack you? No, right? Damn. Can we throw anything? I don't think so. Ooh, I have this! I honestly forgot about that. He died, I guess. I don't know. Oh shit. Um knees high. Flower key. Was weird. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Did you kill Father Logan? No. Dolor did. Splendid. Kill. What were you doing here? Please. Found this flower key. What is it for? Flop house. Okay, Dolos more, more. We'll find more evidence secrets. there. Um. Who are? No, wait. Should I? Mm, how many more are are you of there? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Probably more. Who do you work for? We. We. The corpse tries to speak, but something prevents it. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more so questions. We're gonna have to figure out who who the absolute is. That I don't think so. It must be something else. What's hiding here? Is this the Zorm guy? No, you're Rudd. Who's Zorm? Someone was. Arranging these corpses. What for? What? Why? Oh <gasps> no! That isn't that the absolute mark. That is the absolute mark, right? Is that dribbles? Because remember, the real clown was like a do <gasps> It's the absolute, isn't it? It is. The effigy is Elrissia, who watched and waited. What are use of her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. It's Orin! Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. That is so weird. So Dribbles the Clown is um his body is down here. That sucks. The real Dribbles, I should say, the real one. Never wanted the easy path. What the hell? Okay, hang on. Before I continue down here, uh, let me look. There, there were you can see all the dead bodies that they killed in, in this. These were where they were hiding the the refugees or the people. Do I need to pick that up? Looks like Father Logan's help wasn't quite enough. Oh my God! These poor people. Letter written, careful, erratic, handwriting, newly learned. 
Mom says, I need to thank you more, so thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me. It's three times I wrote thank you now. And four. So, um, I think Mom will be happy. One more thing. Did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it along the, sh along the shouting. Oh no, it's a kid! I'm gonna take your jewelry, sorry. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Yanis, if you have any food to spare or stomachs yowl at night, like a cake, dog, carrots, apple, we'll even crunch on an onion if that's what you got. All oh, these poor people. It triggers a quest? Oh, okay, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> that's kind of fucked up, but yeah, sure. <laughs> um. Okay, let me go back down here. These poor people, though. Oh my god. They were just hiding. Was it in this one? I think it was in this lady's markets. A colorful torso. Torn and butchered. Hello, Dribbles. That's so fucked. <laughs> That's so fucked. Aspirant Dolor is talented, if a touch careless. The dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere, though I know not where. I can smell it. I fear must from his killer strands in the air after the act because he lets them marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stalk in the field, poison of their limb, led to know with their fact. They're going to die. There's nothing else you can do. Also, they haven't even found the freaking uh, murder weapon yet, right? Okay. Something I Oh, hello. Oh, there's the dagger right there. Stillmaker. This blade's wicked look matches its deeds. Poor Father Logan. Damn. Okay, what's down here? I'm I'm kind of curious. Open up. I mean, this is not like- oh. This is not weird for me because I carry corpses around normally. <laughs> My character does. So, it's fine. Where- Oh, remember when I said I wanted to go down here? Oh, so this is where it leads. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. This is exactly where I wanted to go to begin with. See if there's like anything over here I can get. Maybe some more like fish and stuff. It is a cool looking dagger, it's just an evil one. Oh. Okay, we're all stupid, I guess. That's not the worth a look. <laughs> the rolls are so bad. I get so sad when we roll for something and then nobody gets it. What is this? Sure, camp supply. Is that all I can get? Oh no, I can't get the backpack alone. There we go. I don't know what the key is for though. They mentioned, remember the key? The flower key? So that's for something. Okay, so this is where they were dragging. Oh no, there's a dead refugee there too. Oh man. Okay, we'll come back there in a second. Hang on. This sucks. These poor people, though. I feel really bad because most of them are like from the Tiefling camp, are they not? Is the food limited to this game, or does it refresh? It's more like because you use it every night when you go to camp. So, like, that's why I always try to loot all the food. <laughs> so I don't, like, run out. Because you can run out. Oh, shit! What's going on? The brain is breaking free. That was the third quake. That was the third quake that I felt. 
Should I be over here? I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. Um... I feel like I should not be here. <laughs> Is that just me? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet. It's a lot of uh, shipwrecks. It's over here. I'm too curious. I want to look. Is the brain thing times- Oh god! What? Oh, I don't think I should be here yet. Oh, okay. We're gonna go back. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Um, I'm gonna just- We're just gonna teleport back here. <laughs> Why was there a lot of dead bodies there? That was weird. Yeah, I sh I'm not supposed to be there yet. That's 100% sure. <laughs> Are we fixed on supplies? Sound off. Oh. Okay. Um. Here we go. We learned the dead doppelganger assassin. Flower key will unlock something in the flop house. Something revealed Dolores see Where's the flop house? What is that? The flop house? That's not it. Oh, it's this thing. So I was supposed to be- that's okay. So I was supposed to be there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. I do want to go down here, though. I did go in here earlier. Hang on, I want to go in there for a second. Because I want to see. Because I went down here and there's just a bunch of murdered refugees. Oh. Oh, man. Hang on. Carla, can you go? Oh, it's a kid. It's a freaking kid. Um, thanks, Cherish. That's really sweet of you to say. I really, really happy that a lot of people are enjoying my videos. Thank you. Phew. There's just so many. Last warning. You're stricken. Your Immigrator knows where it doesn't belong. You got a brain on your head. You'll stay in your filthy camp with your other absolute or vagrant scum. Your girl didn't get that memo. You really don't want to know what happens to her. Now scram. Who the hell is that from? Why does he have like a pot lid? I'm taking that. That note. What the hell? Okay, that's kind of weird. Wait, can I look at it? Why is there just a rock here? What is it tied to? Oh, the wheel, the winch. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe there's a way I can like hit it or something. I just don't have the rest of my party though. Hang on. Can't give up now. Can my character just not go there? Is she Do I really have to like give her like glorious jumping or something? My face Shadowheart, go me. with her. <clears throat> I'll take this way. 
They can't, right? No. Okay. It's gonna be Shadowheart and Karlak for a second. Sunlit we'll cave mouth. What the hell is this at? Oh. Oh, we're just down here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I can talk to you. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Um, what's the last thing you remember? Man buying heirlooms, vulture challenged him. Okay, tell me about the gemless ring with you, brothers. Died on the Hi, ground. Knight Rider. Welcome to the stream. Man tried to buy. Okay. Um, what happened to you? Pushed. Felt bones break. Darkness. That's fucked up. Do you have next of kin? None. That's sad. Where were you from? East. Fled armies, lost everything. The spell's power went. I didn't even get this you guy's name. I'm so sorry, questions. sir. Oh, uh, so this is not even related to like, what we're investigating. This man just got killed because some dick wanted to get his ring, his dead brother's ring. Another step forward. That's messed up. All right, can we jump down here, please? Thank you. Okay, so the toll house? Where the hell is it at? Wait, what? This? The flop house, not toll house, sorry, flop house. I can't keep up with all these damn names. I think it's up here, maybe. I'll investigate the other bo dead bodies that are over there, because that's kind of interesting. Something over there. Something over there. Ooh, nice. Good job, guys. I think it's up here, right? Damn, these are a lot of steps. Whoa. Wait, no, this leads back to the city now. Is it not? Oh, hell no. Are you saying it's past the checkpoint? Oh, it is. It's past the checkpoint. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna stop it here. It's a good point to stop it. Because I, I don't want to go past the checkpoint. The reason why I haven't gone past it yet is because I want to make sure I get everything in Rivington before I continue. You know? Damn. I thought it was here. All right. Well, that kind of makes sense for a lot of stuff. All right, I'm gonna stop it right there for now. Um, at least, at least we figured out there was something going on, and whoever they said they're accusing of murder wasn't really murder; it was somebody else. We have their flower key though, so I, I imagine we're probably gonna run into that. He said it was a dwarf, right? A dwarf with like red hat or something like that. We'll, we're gonna run into them when we get to the flop house. I will also investigate that little corner there with all the dead bodies because I wonder what's going on over there too. There's just a lot of things to look at. <laughs>
anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, for another stream. So, um, of course, we'll get back to Baldur's Gate again later this week. And um, also to answer someone's question, I'm going to be starting Assassin's Creed Brother Brotherhood this week too. I'm also still playing Cyberpunk 2077, so I haven't stopped that or anything. It's just I haven't had time to record, that's why. So, but yeah, we'll continue on with this. I'll continue on with the investigation and hopefully it'll be fine. But I will be live uh, next Sunday, same time. Uh, if I have time during the week, maybe I'll live stream more. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. I love you. Bye.